hi in this video I'm going to share with you what is how to stay relevant a new method for the old problem so I Google and found these questions how do I identify rows that have a specific cell value in an Excel divide table so here is an example the Excel table is right here so they want to search each row what is the value uh, is that which row has a value of AA so it can be in column January for that row it can be column February for that row so the search result should be like this so it should be east the row for east and the row for north but excluding south because there is no AA and the west so the the method that use was used was this array formula uh, how to create a formula is you just copy these things and control shift enter right so that is a CSE formulas so you need to learn all these things right so uh, the meme just getting the minimum of the row so you have to go through all these steps step one find the cells in name range and then blah 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 blah, blah. step two extract the row number blah 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 blah, blah. and then step three become blah 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 blah, blah. so it takes you a lot of times to uh, understand this right step four so you can get this uh, solution from here so now as I say that uh, the title of this document is that stay relevant a new method for the old problem so that's the old problem but a new method so I redesigned it to be this it's the same oh we'll just call it uh, some air shows ladybug so, so you can see that right here uh, I can do this right let's just show you what it means yeah so basically I have this now uh, what I want to do is just that uh, I want to just change that to let's say here is not ladybug this is B and I have a uh, maybe ladybug right here okay so this will not change uh, I'm not sure it will change right but then uh, right here I just right click refresh and that's that's it right it's just lay the box right there and uh, if I just change it to again the B okay all right just right click here and refresh I have this data here so it's uh, it's pretty fast but more importantly is that uh, what I can do is that I can go to the queries edit the query and um, what I do is this is do the source get a change type uh, and then the, this is the key things I want to talk about that I'll turn using the power query I turn every single row into a uh, records so a records will return the lease and then in that lease we want to find whether there is a lady box right there so uh, click OK so with that it will tell me that which row has is fulfilling the requirements and that filters and then you can remove the column and that's it so what is record See record of field list, right? Record of fields. Record of field list returns a a list. So like this, like like I said this earlier, this is the list. Yeah, this is a list, and then it returns. So do follow along and create that the steps, right? Now let me just go through you again one more time, right? Go to that. Uh, this one go to the data from table range. So basically load it into the database and then go to the uh, custom record 
and then here I just type in the if I just type in the this one record few record the fields uh, which is this part here okay record the field uh, this means that for every row or every row in this table and I just click OK I get a list now you can see that this is a list right here a list it turned this row into a list so with that list what you can do is that let's go back to here I want to check each of these lists right each of these lists. for each of these lists list dot contains I want to check whether the list contains the ladybug the word ladybug so let's click OK and the Power Query will tell me that this row 3 and row 4 has the value of Ladybox in one of the lead I call them. Now I just, just uncheck this, go to True, click OK. And finally I can just right click, remove the column, and load it. Close and load. And I can just choose another area to load. I remember just load it here. Maybe just right here. Click OK. And there you are. So I can run into uh, another area. Okay. Uh, so that is how to use the record dot field value to return a rows of value as a list. And from there, you use list dot contains to check whether that list has a value of ladybug. So uh, this is a very useful and time-saving uh, method. Like it says, this is the it's a new era. We want to stay relevant using this new method. You do not need to uh, take so much time to learn this long uh, method. Of course, you have time. You can just continue to read this. Uh, turn this into table and blah 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 blah. So which one you like? Right, let me know. Thank you. You like this the old method, or you prefer to use the power query method? Thank you.